In today's Madden 18 tip, we're going to be taking a look at how to beat Cover 3 in Madden 18. What's up guys, my name is Cody, and I want to welcome those of you that are new to my YouTube channel. I want to welcome you and just encourage you to stick around for the entire video and ask some questions at the end. Let me know what you thought, let me know your name so that I can meet you and how you found the YouTube channel. Alright guys, so Cover 3 defense. Here's what I want to talk about today. Uh, I got a question in one of my comments, and we're a lot of people kind of ask questions about cover three and how do you beat cover three. Well, there's a couple things you can really do, in my opinion, that are going to help you. The first thing that you want to do is you want to use the play Z spot from the bunch wide. This play is in the premium membership, uh, which has uh, launched, I think it came out yesterday. So if you want the full breakdown of this play and also to see it in game and to see the whole entire scheme, Check out the premium membership. It also comes with, my opinion, the best defense. So you can check that. All that stuff is in the description of this video. The link for that is in the description. So for 50 bucks, you get six ebooks. You get one video every week. That's an hour long update video that is uh, going to give you different things that I'm doing and uh, different things that I'm learning. So a lot of people have given me good feedback on the premium membership. Anyways, so Z Spot. Here's what you want to do. This specific, if we're talking cover three. What you want to do with cover three, in my opinion, this season, you want to throw corner routes. A lot of people, especially now, this specific corner route from Z-Spot in the Gun Bunch Wide and the New York Giants is very unique. It's different than most corner routes, okay? So there's two methods that I'm going to give you to beating cover three today. The first is to use the play verticals, and that's to take Des Bryant, motion him to the outside. He's on a wheel route. And what's going to happen is the um, the deep blue zone is going to drop away. You can possession catch it, and it's going to be a 20, 50, 15 to 20 yard gain every time. Again, I really, 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 really highly encourage you to possession catch the ball. Okay, you have to possession catch the ball. Otherwise, it's going to get catch tackled. It's not going to work. And I've talked about that before. The next thing that I'm going to encourage you to do is run this play Z spot. And the way you do it is this corner route is going to get open against cover three. So you're going to step up, pass lead down and away, and it's going to be a possession catch on the, on the sideline. Now, this is just standard um, standard cover three with the curl flats that a lot of people uh, have been running lately. I actually faced a guy who had really, really good cover three. Uh, and I'm going to show you one. I'm going to show you. I, I got sacked there. I am going to show you that play in a minute because I thought it was just incredible what he was doing. I don't know if it was his players or what it was. But anyways, the only only thing you have to do, which I forgot to do. Whoops. I forgot to turn my vibration off too. So on this play, what you want to do is you want to take your tight end, which is Jason Witten. You want to put him on a curl, a hitch route, or a streak. Any of those three. Okay? And what's going to happen is he's going to then occupy that mid guy, curl flat. It gives you some more spacing to throw that ball to Cole Beasley. Let's see here why didn't that work a lot of it is your pass lead that's really important down and outside as mills is making me look like an idiot another thing you can do this is something i did for the longest time and the cool part about z spot is there's it's not just this route that beats cover three every route beats cover three this quick out to des works really good against cover three um because what they have to do and i was doing this at the very beginning of the year from the shotgun bunch is they have to go hard flat, which then is going to allow this corner to get open. If he would ever catch the freaking ball. So, but if they don't go hard flat, which very, very few people are going to do it. Gosh, dang it, man. Can't complete anything right now. If they don't go hard flat, which in my opinion, most people are not going to go hard flat this year. They're going to go curl flat. If you get the timing right, you can, you can really get, um, I just can't get the timing right right now, but, if you get the timing right on this, the guy won't even, you want to pass up and it's going to be um, either a possession or rat catch, depending on your situation, how close you're on the sideline, all that matters. So you can do that as well. Another thing you could do with Dez is leave him on his just standard spot route and he's going to be wide open too. So there's, you know, an infinite amount of possibilities you could do with that. Um, some people like to put him on a, uh, a smoke screen, but in my opinion, that doesn't work very well. So, Again, the essential thing with the cover three is to have a flat, a corner, and a streak route. So you could do something like this. This is an old school flood. And normally you're going to be able to hit that corner right there in that possession pocket. But the other thing that you have 
is if you take Ezekiel Elliott, put him on an option route, this route to um, circle is – I can't throw – I can't freaking throw the ball today. This route to circle is really good. I got to get off this stupid safety so they'll play the zone right. So what you want to do is Ezekiel Elliott is on an option route. Witten's on that. You can leave Dez on his little spot route. Step up in the pocket. When Terrence Williams cuts – gosh dang it, man. My pocket collapses in practice, man. But anyway, so motion does out. Okay. I can't even throw it. It's wide open. I just can't freaking throw it in time. Um, so just step up. There it is. Oh, my gosh. Cover three, man. Cover three might be that good. Um, the other thing, if the option route doesn't work, which actually is the original setup to this, the wheel route will work probably better. So if you put Zeke on a wheel route, motion him to the outside, you can throw this with an outside pass lead. And I've scored touchdowns off that. That 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 route right there is really tough because then, again, they also have to – again, the cover three strength is that the curl flats and the seam flats will help out with the inside coverage. However, that leaves an opening in the outside coverage. So my opinion, cover three is weak to the outside – because everything is designed to stop the inside. That's why you want to throw these corner routes. Right now, Cole Beasley's just being an idiot, and he can't run the route right. But you want to throw those corner routes. You want to throw wheel routes, out routes. All of those routes will work num wonders for you, because as you can see here, they won't be able to stop Ezekiel Elliott on that wheel route if they're in cover three. What they're going to have to do is they're going to have to go to cover two. If they go to cover two, that's going to open up other things. But anyways, if you step up in the pocket, if I can get five seconds to throw the ball, Dallas Cowboys, man, this tackle for Dallas that's been injured has been terrible for their team. Anyways, just step up, and it's wide open right in there. And in my opinion, you're going to have more time. The way the game works this year, you're going to have more time to throw the ball Um than you will in practice mode. Just kind of my my basic understanding. As you can see, circles open every time. You just have to get some patience, some time in the pocket. And obviously, with with the way they were running their defense, let me show you one other thing on this. Now, the only defense at cover three that I've ever really faced big issues with was this cover three buzz. Or not cover three buzz. Cover three, um, where's it at? Three double buzz. This right here, probably the toughest cover three you're going to face. So what they're going to do is they're going to do this. Okay. This probably the cover, again, my opinion, this is the toughest cover three you're going to face. Okay. the uh, They will shut down a lot. So the wheel route is wide open still, though, because they're in a cloud flat. And what the defense is going to do is to adjust. They're going to put their guys in underneath coverage. When they put their guys in underneath coverage, this was a mistake that I made when I was facing this. When they put their guys in underneath coverage, if you if you hit this drag, it's wide open. The other route that's wide open, though, which I failed several times in the game, it was wide open, and I ended up losing this game. But basically, the other route that's wide open is this corner route, as you can see there. Because more than likely, they're going to just make a universal shade down, and they're not going to remember... Uh-oh, I'm facing a really, really good corner route here from Cole Beasley. Okay, just Cole Beasley can't make a catch, but that's awesome. So you have that. The other th cover three is tough. The other three, other thing you have, though, this this defense does a good job against Terrence Williams' route. But basically, if you if oh my gosh, a stupid lineman, there is a glitch with this. Not a glitch, but a it is a really, really good. Um, Really, really good pass rush. I don't know why, but you just you just get. I remember I literally had like two seconds to throw a replay. That was the other part of it that was kind of tough. I'm just gonna spy the D lineman because I want to show you. Because in normal situations, if I'm facing this in a game, I'm gonna either hit Cole Beasley or Ezekiel Elliott. But for the purpose of this video, I want to show you this route is still wide open to Terrence Williams. Still wide open. Okay, that route will win you a Super Bowl. If you let it, it's the best route in the game uh, again and, you know, be, be sure to take advantage of it. But what they're going to do is they're going to they're going to have to hold hard flat. Once they go hard flat, 
it opens up everything else in the scheme. Everything else. Uh, PA post is now completely open. The drags are wide open. Okay. So anyways, that is how I would beat cover three, especially the cover three buzz. And if you don't implement this three double buzz in your defense, I think you're crazy. It's really, really good this season. Thanks for watching today's video.